What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of career mode it is episode number 11 heading into today's episode on the back of our draw to Southampton four points on the board from our first four games mixed start could have been better but could have been a hell of a lot worse as well today uh, loads of stuff to get through man want to play loads of those more Premier League games hopefully get some more points on the board finishing up around mid to late November I'd say we're probably the gunners away at the Emirates or Manchester United at home plus we'll have the EFL Cup third round of home to Man City can't see us getting through that one now Let's crack on. Loads of games to get through, plus the youth scouting as well. Our first game will be Fulham away in West London at Craven Cottage, heading into this game. Again, it's been an all right start, to be fair. Already a couple of clean sheets, already four points taken from a possible 12. Could have been a hell of a lot worse, but if we can get some priceless away day victories this season, that would do us the world of good to make sure we survive constantly. Let's get our first away day victory this season at the cottage. Come on, it's switch time. That's for our objectives this season. The board has said finish mid-table. It's quite subjective, that, though. I mean, because mid-table, like, the, the, the board would probably consider it 8th to 12th, which, oh, what a turn, Harry Wilson, and what a brilliant open goal as well. 8th to 12th, which I, I just don't think we're at that level yet. I really don't. I know we made some improvements for this season with the signings of, you know, Gibbs White coming in, and obviously Washington on, on deadline day, Ducore, who's not in the squad for this game. But I still don't think we're there yet. I really don't. To me... It's one of my favourite sayings, I repeat it quite often, know where you are. In my opinion, we're still one of the absolute weakest teams in the division. If we survive finishing 17th and stay up on goal difference, it's a good year for me. I take it. And as we got an injury there as well, I think that was O'Shea. And Davis intercepts. And, oh, come on, that's a soft free kick, mate. This has been a really, really tough start. Tough start to the game, tough start to the season, tough start to life as manager of Ipswich Town. Just tough in general. Yeah, it's going to be two. Call it straight away. Vinicius smacking it home. Problem we've got is because obviously we don't score goals, so we just we just don't score that many goals. So if we if we go behind in a game, it is it is basically over from that point. I can count on one hand how many comeback wins we've had. I can count on one finger. It was once last season. You know, we just. We're not really, we're not capable of turning games on its head, man, because we haven't got enough firepower. We haven't got enough goals. If we can see this game over, we changed things up a bit last season. We started to improve from that, and I definitely think we should do it again. You know, I, I, I think we should go two up top from now. I really do, because, you know, I can't even blame it on my forward, whether it's the lap or in this game. I've got Washington having his first start for the club. If he's not getting service, what can he do? Like if he's, if he's not getting fed the ball through, what? What do you expect, you know? So, I, I, I definitely think that's the... Um, that's a great build-up, though. And that's a brilliant goal. First for the club for Washington. It's 2-1-B. One, I, I, I think we need someone to partner whoever our lone striker is. When they're up on their own, they're too isolated. First start for Washington since coming in on deadline day. And to be fair, he's, he's given us a glimmer of hope. I did say, if Liam Delap's not getting me the job done, I'm, I'm going to go with him. He's my official number nine, and... Go on, Morgan, have a dig. Oh, I just couldn't get it on target. This is better in the second half, though. Hutchinson gives White. Oh, I see you, Davis, on the overlap. I see you. Storming run, but the pass is shocking. Man, oh, man. We discussed this at length in the last episode. It's, it's something that's really making this year's game more difficult, and I love it. You've got to get your passing spot on, man. Like that. Gives White. Yes, come on! What a comeback from the Tractor Boys! Get in! And signing on deadline day! And our club record signing! Both scoring their first goals for the club each, and it's 2-2! Two -two. Oh man, if Fulham, if Fulham go on net a winner, I'm going to be absolutely gutted, man. Seriously. Heck of a comeback from 2-0 down. If they, if they go... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no! The irony is, the one game where we look good in front of goal is we're terrible defensively, which is normally our strong point. Typical. Typical, man. Absolutely typical. Brilliant, brilliant, valiant effort in the second half to come back and then threw it away minutes after the level up. Positives, though. Positives, and again, it's better. It, it's better. It's not points, but it is positives, which really, you need the opposite. <laughs> But even so, it's better. it is so much better than last season, though. Looking way better going forward. 
Uh, with Dara O'Shea out for four weeks. Really tough start to the season once again. But I like it though. I'm liking the challenge, man. I really am. And this is going to be a big challenge as well. Man City at home in the third round of the Carabao Cup. Throwing out a backup side. Like Pep Guardiola said in real life, I'm not going to waste energy on this competition. Surviving the Premier League is my sole focus. Man City in the third round of the League Cup with the backup boys. Come on and switch town. Uh, the Guardiola tonight is taking this competition seriously. You've got Haaland out there, Foden out there, Edison out there. It's a strong, strong line. It was Jerry Docky finds Haaland. His shot is drilled in nine minutes in. Well, this could get, this could get a bit embarrassing here. Pep, if you take a two-three goal lead, can you just like just calm down, yeah? Like, because uh, come on, why, why have they picked such a strong lineup? Completely opposite to what Pep's been saying in real life. Oh yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be using the uh, the backup boys in every round. Not not in the game, clearly. Oh, man, it's going to be two. It's going to be two. Jerry Doku outpaces his man and does make it. This this could okay. This could be embarrassing tonight. This could be embarrassing. 2-0 down, 15 minutes in. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit fearful that a record could be set tonight. Well, half an hour to go, and it's now three. And thankfully, we, we weathered the storm after what was an incredibly tough start. So I don't think there's any danger of the record defeat being... Oh, my goodness. Equaled. It's just 10-0. Just looked it up. Didn't know that. 10-0. Joint record. I don't think it's going to get that bad. We're going out, but at least it's not going to be a, a record equaling defeat, if you will. But it is now going to be... No, it's not going to be four. Hard off the post, and it's still three. We're keeping it somewhat respectable. Pure deception from Pep Guardiola. That was me thinking he'd rock up with a backup side, like he said he'll be doing in every round in real life. In the end... Calls a really strong lineup onto the pitch, and unfortunately, that backup side had no chance. Frankly, it wasn't that embarrassing. Could have been a lot worse that. 3 0, we're out, but we expected that anyway. No wins in four in all competitions, and now taking on a good lead side who won promotion last year but started off flying high in the top four. Big contest try and follow on from here. A winnable game despite our opponents being in form. Got to make sure we take the chance of Portman Road. Come on, it's Witch Town. I must say, I really like Leeds' kits this season with the, uh, the Red Bull sponsorship. I know uh, a lot of people have their... Um, go on, Amari, off you go. Nice give and go. Oh, good stop by Stefan Ortega. But uh, I know a lot of people had their, you know, their, their qualms with Red Bull, with the ownership of certain teams, such as Salzburg and Leipzig and so on. Obviously, it's only a minority stake in Leeds as Wolfen and heads wide. But, um, yeah, I, I, I like Leeds' kits this season, I must say. Wolfen them. Tries to roll it through to Christiansen. Hutchinson, look at the space there. Go on, off you go. Washington. Oh, yes. Two in two for our new number nine. David Washington has just put us in front. He's looking good, man, I must say. Well, we did say if Liam Delap wasn't getting the goals, we would throw David Washington in. And he has not let me down. Two in two. Obviously, Grant, he did, he did come off the bench in the final seconds against Southampton. So, technically, it's two in three. But even so, it was Morgan. Plays a brilliant ball. Washington, what a touch. Shot blocked. And it'll be cleared by Leeds. He's looking lively up there, man. I must say, really excited. He took a pay cut to come here and get more first-team football, like Amari Hutchinson from Chelsea. And as things stand, he's looking talented. Very talented. Just needed some TLC. Into the final 17 minutes as Ben Johnson just couldn't get it away. And now here come Leeds. Bamford. Oh, I should have brought Murich. I should have done it. Should have done it. Oh, well in Murich. So they shouldn't have done it. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Oh, Greaves. <sighs> Starting to get really... Oh, no, no, no. Passes are going straight. This is class, though. So class. Because, like, the... The, ner the nerves are brilliant, man. I'm so immersed in this. And the space for Clark. And now Leaf. And I see Washington in the middle. But I couldn't find him. Ten to go. It's carnage. No, 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 no. Wolf and yeah, went in. And just about prevented the corner. Ref, we've come on. We've played the minute. We've had the minute. Surely, Ref. Come on. Come on. Where's the whistle, son? Come on. Come on. That's going to go. No, it's not. Get away, Wossy. That's going to do it. Ref, ref, ref. Come on, go, 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 go on. Come on, go on. Yes, go on. It's so much more nerve-wracking now when you're trying to grind out a one-goal victory. We've done it. 
Massive three points. Second of the season. Both coming at Portman Road. Hard fought win against a good informed newly promoted lead side. And David Washington, two goals already. He's looking like a steal. Yeah, I must say, I'm, I'm, re I'm really liking him early doors. I mean, again, it's a long, long way to go, obviously. But, oh, man. David Washington, honestly. He's, he's looking good. He's, he's looking good, man. He's, he's got pace. He's got agility. And clearly, he's got the finish on him as well. And again, at six foot two, I just, I just want to get, get him a bit stronger. We don't throw a lot of balls into the air. But again, because he's got that bit of height, if I can get him a bit stronger, he's got an okay jumping stat to begin with. But we can try and make this guy possibly the complete forward. Just needs to work on that physical heading and jumping and strength game as well. He's looking good, though. Looking really good. Not quite George Washington, but David Washington. And so, just before we dive into uh, what would be... I, I never like it when uh, a player comes to me and says, I was disappointed you left me out, uh, or I'm disappointed you didn't pick me for a game, when we've won. It's like, bro, put the team's needs ahead of your own. It's a team sport. It's in tennis. Although well, tennis does have doubles, but you know, I think, yeah, but of course it does. But you know, like, it's, it's a team sport, bro. It's a team sport, okay? We just won against Leeds. We don't win many games, period. So come on, son. Right, anyway, three more scouting updates. Let's see what we've got from England, Trinidad and Tobago, and Georgia this month. We're from England, uh, so far not... Not getting it done two months in this time around. But, you know, like we said, like we said, man, it's 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 going to take some time. And this year's youth scouting is a lot harder as well. So got to get used to this now. Not overly keen on the lads we've found from Trinidad and Tobago so far. Not, not quite the next White York in the academy yet. But uh, you never know. Again, there's still still a long way to go. Carlton Nelson, to be fair, could be all right. But uh, we'll continue scouting for now. And from Georgia... Uh, wow, that's the first time I've seen a player get poached away. Interesting. First time I've seen it this year. It must be a lot more uh, rare than last season. Oh, he could be quite good. Andrea Bogvad, say. But I'll continue the scouting for now. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot harder this year. I must say, it's a lot harder. And as some of you guys have been saying in the comments, I've been getting some messages and comments from you guys saying, Doxy Boy, it is a bit of a common bug this year that players do end up with like a really low heading accuracy. And for goalkeepers, a low diving stat as well. So I appreciate you guys letting me know that. But uh, yeah, just in general, you scouting is a lot harder. I know a lot of you guys have got the same experience as me. I might actually just give them a scholarship to be fair. So I've got a Georgian in the academy. But yeah, it's a lot harder this year. As to be fair, realistically, it probably should be. Right, what a win that was. And now let's see if we followed on for our first away day victory. Following contest, Newcastle away at St. James's Park. Really tough game here. Heading in to the Northeast, trying to get our first away day victory. I'll turn to take a point, though. A point, a clean sheet, extra one on the board. I wouldn't mind that one bit. Let's see if we can go get it. Go on, it's Rich Town. I have to say, this has been one of the worst games I've played in FC 25. This has been shocking. Six to go. I did say I would take this result. Point in a clean sheet, but Anthony Gordon could win it here for the Magpies as his shot is blocked and put behind for a corner. It's been a terrible game. Absolutely terrible. And we're almost there to claiming a really good result on the road. Hutchinson is down. Yeah, I think that's probably... Yeah, we've had a goal kick. It's probably going to do it. This, this has been a terrible game. This has been probably the worst game of FC 25 I've played. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Extra point. Extra clean sheet. And a good positive result against a very good Newcastle United side. I'll take it. Yeah, it might only be two wins in our first seven games, but a bigger picture, man. We're in 13th place right now. And on the back of back-to-back -back clean sheets and back-to-back -back games without a loss, we're doing all right. We're doing okay. Following game, Everton at home below us in the table with only one win in the season as well. And at Portman Road this season, we're looking really, really solid. That's where both of our Premier League wins have come from. Let's get our third here and a big one against Sean Dyche's side. Come on, Ipswich Town. If we can make this ground a bit of a fortress this season, that will give us a shot at mid-table. I don't think we've been beaten here yet this season. And obviously, Man City in the League Cup, but you know, in terms of the Premier League games, I think we're still... Yes! Undefeated! And Morgan gives white has got his second of the season as well. And new signings, gives white and Washington, they are looking like a really good duo. Tyler on Yango, trying to get around Ben Johnson, forced backwards, and there is Ducore, who couldn't intercept, but does it the second time of asking. And now here's Hutchinson with Christensen on the overlap. What a ball! Washington! Has his shot tipped behind for a corner, but this is so much better from Ipswich, playing with intensity, being aggressive. 
getting goals, which we didn't score many of last season, and looking full value for our performances too. I have to say, this is just so much better from Ipswich. And I said for the new season, you know, I was talking about it last season, we needed major investment in the summer window. And okay, fair enough, we didn't make any blockbuster signings, but a new club record one in Morgan Gibbs White. What a start for him, already the two goals. I think he's got an assist as well for Washington on deadline day as well. Small transfer fee, but taking a bit of a gamble on him. And he's certainly paying off at the moment. Got the assist for that Gibbs White goal as well. There's Victor Christiansen. Finds him. Washington denied. What would have been his third as we still lead by one. But it's much better. Much better. Much more aggressive. Much more assertive. Much more attack minded. And we're reaping the benefits from being brave on the offensive end too. We should be three goals up here. And I'm disappointed we're not. As Wolfenden wins it back. Well, I must say the improvement from this season to last is night and day, honestly. Okay, fair enough. It's another 1-0 victory, but another victory regardless. Back-to-back -back wins at home. Three straight clean sheets. Seven points taken from a possible nine. And I must say, Gibbs White and Washington, once again, as a bro duo, were fantastic again in getting what was the only goal of the game early. It switched right now, looking really impressive. You know what? Maybe the board were right. Maybe we can be a mid-table side this season and possibly even better sneaking into the top 10 because that's where we'll be if we win our following game. Next up, Crystal Palace away at Selhurst Park right now in the bottom three with just a one win in their first day. But for us, a win here in London and our first away day victory of the season will see us leapfrog Spurs and go in to ninth place. So this is a long way to go. But if we can do that, getting our first away day victory in the process, that would be a mightily impressive start for the Tractor Boys season with what would be four wins in nine. Let's see if we can go get our first away day victory on the road. Come on, it's Switch Town. Yeah, this is so much better from it, Switch. So much better. Uh, I know we've, uh, we've had some poor performances this season, but... Uh, you, can, you can see the improvement in, in the performances and... Uh, Obviously, the results are the most important thing, but the, the general vibe just feels a bit different. Do you know what I mean? You can tell when a vibe feels off with a team. It just doesn't really fit. It doesn't really click. This feels so much better. So much better. And this gives why it gets on the run. It's going to try his luck from range, and it's denied as it's pushed behind for a corner. We just seem more confident, you know? Just seem like a much more confident team, much more confident group of guys. And that obviously plays a massive part. Because when you're feeling good, you can perform good. Still 0-0, but a good start here from the Tractor Boys. This is so much better. Than, honestly, from last season, it really does feel like night and day. There's odds on Eduard. Chips it through. Lorenzo Insigne. Into the middle. And Murich makes a good save. Still 0-0, 15 in. Yeah, I mean, you could have all the ability in the world. If you're not feeling confident within yourself, you're not going to perform. It's as simple as that. You've got to get the mental aspect right, as well as the technical and physical, you know. As Lorenzo and Signe fires in the opener. But this is the problem we're finding this season. We score more goals. We're still looking solid defensively. But it's away from home where we are really struggling. We just don't track too well. The, the track too, we just don't travel well. The track too, <laughs> We don't track to, I guess we don't really as the tractor boys ourselves, but yeah, we just we just don't travel well. Can't seem to win away. Still haven't done that yet. Corner for it switch. Last chance of the half, you'd say. Gives White's delivery is a decent one. Leaf Davis coming in and heading in the level of wanting to celebrate and he picks the ball straight up. Love the ambition. Wants to get more chances before the break. But Leaf Davis, man, I said for this season, with Sam Morsey retiring at the end of it and mostly now coming off the bench, he'll be my captain. I see him as permanent captain on the back of Morsey's retiring at the end of the year. And he's just done what a leader needs to do. Get us back in it himself. With the level of our left back, makes it 1-1. We are into the final four minutes. Palace looking to win this late here, but Ducore wins it back, and I think it's probably going to be another game where we fail to win away. Still haven't got an away day victory this season, but grand scheme of things, we were behind before the break. Hold on. Oh. And in the end, we'll take it. We'll take it. it. It's a point. It's now no losses in four. Nice little mini unbeaten stretch. We will take it. I'll take it. Bay with the injury. That's the only negative to the game, but... Another game without a goal for, for David Washington gives White got one, but even so, it's, it's not a bad result. Yeah, I think it's going to be quite hard to rotate my strikers this year. I want to make sure that I give both the lap and Washington enough game time to keep them both happy because they're both young forwards with potential. They both need to play. So I think I'll start the lap in the following game away against Brighton. But how, how bad was the injury for, uh, 
Okay, Connie, you, you, mate, you're going at the end of the season anyway, so okay. Uh, but how how bad was DG for uh, for uh, for Bay? It's it's th- th- this needs to be easier to get to. Where is it? Broken toe, broken toe for Bay. He had one last season. He's got one again. That little pinky toe needs some surgery because that's the second broken toe in about six months. Bay done until January time. It's a shame for Bay because we've only really been able to see glimpses of him due to his injury problems. But you know, when, when he does play, he plays really well, as we saw last season and this season as well. So just before we dive into the following game, which is Brighton away, uh, we've got three more scouting updates, I believe. Yeah, three more updates. So I think I think we'll do two more games and uh, let's take a look at the players from England this season. Max Jeffrey could be all right. So we'll keep our old oh, Jay Cooper could be very good indeed. Uh, so we'll keep our eyes on him. Same with Sam Jeffrey as well, to be fair. Okay, so we're finding some okay players. But, um, again, there's no superstars yet. Do you know what I mean? We just haven't come across a superstar from any of the scouting yet. I mean, I'm saying that. like We haven't had a 91 to 94 potential player from, uh, from England. But, again, he's just so young. That's the problem. Can't get him in the first team for, again, at least another season. Uh, Denzel Jackson could be all right. I could see the scouting on him for now. But uh, no one from Trinidad and Tobago making the academy just yet. And from Georgia, again, really, really struggling for scouting this year. I uh, just haven't quite found anyone who I am certain of. And well, to be fair, Edward Kipiani could be really good. But again, at 13, I must say that that's one thing. Like, I know a lot of people did want to see younger players in the youth scouting this year. Um, but there, there is a problem that comes with that. Which it just takes them so long to be able to play in the first team. So I, I don't mind being able to pick up like 13, 14, 15 year old boys, but you've got to be able to throw them in the first team a little bit younger than 16 because otherwise you're waiting a long time. And let's be honest here, some career moves don't last that long. So you might end the save before you got a chance to promote them and give them a pro deal. I just want EA to change that, man. In, in real life, clubs can play players on the age of 16. Why can't you? Anyway, following game, Brighton away. We may as well have Penultimate game today, taking on Fabian side, looking for our first away day victory. But crucially, what will be our fifth game in a row without loss in the Premier League. Let's see if we can hold Brighton and get another credible result away from home coming in switch town six to go before the break still deadlocked at nil nil tough start to the game here neither side has played especially well and once again I'll say it point on the board another clean sheet as well wouldn't be the worst result in the world nil nil but we'd like to start scoring some goals again and for the lap finding Hutchinson tries to Beat Steele, that comes in! He's going to take these chances, and he's just taken one there. First goal of the season, Liam Delap heads in the rebound. Ipswich lead right before the break. Liam Delap is such a good forward, and, you know, he didn't come to Ipswich to sit on the bench. That was the whole point of leaving Manchester City, you know, to get the game time here at Portman Road, but... You know, the problem is Washington's done the same. You know, Washington's done the exact same thing, leaving Chelsea to get the game time here. It's going to be very difficult to get them both the minutes they deserve and need. So something's got to give. Either a tactical change, which I don't really want to do right now, or we're in our best run of form since I've been here, really. Oh, wonderful from Matt O'Reilly. <laughs> or one ends up getting loaned out. But that is a brilliant little hezzy move from O'Reilly there. Thought he was going to pull the trigger, slid in, and he just walks around me whilst I'm on the floor. That's poor from me, but great dribble into. 1-1, one, one, Brighton with the leveller. Going to leave, win that, win that, win that. One final chance. It will drop to Clark. Trying to step in field, but couldn't, and that is going to do it. First goal of the season for Liam Delap. Unfortunately, it wasn't the winner. Matt O'Reilly's leveller ensures that we back-to-back -back draws. But, again, away from home where we don't travel well, it's an extra point. And when we are a struggling team, well, I've said this before, any point on the road, you've got to call it a good one. And we will. It's now, as well, five games in a row without loss in the Premier League. This is our longest unbeaten stretch. Let's do one more. I want to end on that. Yep, yeah, said it many times before, life is all about perspective. You could say only one win in four, not a great mini run, but listen, this is Ipswich Town, who are only in their second season in the Premier League in this stint. No losses in our last five games. Back-to-back -back away day draws. Yeah, I'm certainly going to take that. So, right, following game, final one today, in four Manchester United right now in second. Eight wins in their first ten games and only the one loss, but...
But this is Portman Road. No one's beaten us here in the league at home so far. I want to close out the episode with that fact still being true. Eric Ten Hag side coming to East Anglia. Come on, it's Witch Town. Yeah, Portman Road looking like a bit of a fortress right now. Still haven't lost here in the in the league this season. Granted, Man City thrashed us in the cup, but obviously that was about a backup side. That was only going to go one way anyway. But at the moment, I'm um, really encouraged by how strong we look at East Anglia against literally anyone. So even though Manchester United only had one loss all season long, I think we've taken Delap denied by Unai Simon. Bit of a Tough shot to get away, let alone score from. Good to get a shot on target, but simple save. But again, this is so much better. Last season, we'd have gone into these games expecting to get beat like 3-4-0 comfortably. Now, we go into them thinking we could possibly get a win here. I must say, this Manchester United team has changed so much in just three transfer windows in the save. Pedro Gonçalves, Rigo Bentecure, Alfonso Davis, Leroy Sane. It's a crazy different side with a nice Simon now between the six and John McKinn winning it back. But uh, today, stood up to them well. Still dead at 0-0. As they look for a winner in the second half. We have Gonzalez getting through and denied by Murich. Still 0-0. Clark looking to step round Matthias De Ligt. Back into Gibbs White, who's been a player of the season so far, I'd say. Ben Johnson with Ducore in space. Under hits the pass, though. And again, how often do we say this, man? You've got to get the passing spot on in this year's FIFA. It's so much better as Joshua Xerxes chips it. Sane for the win. Oh, John, who's put it wide. I was going to say, wonderful bit of skill, but he couldn't hit the target. Well, it is another draw. Three straight to end the episode. But again, like we said pre-game, bigger picture. That is Manchester United with eight wins in ten games. We've just held them and remain undefeated at Portman Road. Got to take the point when it's considered a good one, and it definitely is in this. Life. It's all about perspective. And this, to me, has been a great run and start to season two for its Switch Town. Without doing for today's episode of Karima, guys, big thank you for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed. If you have, then please do drop a like. What's up to you all? Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you for the next episode with more scouting updates and big games in the Premier League as we aim to continue our longest unbeaten run since we arrived at Portman Road and possibly go into the top ten. Have a great day. Much love. And I'll see you for the next episode very soon.